some drier weather finally here. I know. it's uh, It's been kind of a rough go this month. A lot of wet weather, a lot of warm temps, like no snow. Yep. That could start changing as we head into the uh, beginning of January. In fact, there are some signals that maybe next weekend yeah. we could possibly break out the snow boots. We've had some people like complaining, almost complaining like there's no snow. I know. It's weird out here, right? It Middle is. of December, January. It's New England. Oh my gosh. And it hurts a lot of local business. So let's get right into the forecast because, uh, you know, it's still very, very early, but social media, of course, is a flurry with uh, all the potential for next weekend. And of course, as we head throughout this week, we'll take a look at it daily and you know just kind of track it and see what's changing and what's not see if we can get some trends but it would be a possible coastal storm a possible nor'easter but again it's next weekend so it's uh, just on the horizon right now just something to watch until then it's actually looking really quiet tonight the cloud cover is keeping temperatures up tomorrow the cloud cover may decrease a little bit I do expect to see some sunshine by at least Tuesday uh, then we've got a storm system that's going to be passing by Thursday but it looks like it's going to be more of a miss so over Overall, this entire week may end up being mostly dry. As we take a look across the country, the uh, California coast continues to just get hammered by these storm systems. And uh, excuse me, if you've been on social media, if you've been watching the news the last couple of days, the waves out there in California are insane. Uh, they've even had to, you know, people have been in the hospital, and it's crazy that the uh, the waves on the California coast are as bad as they are. But it's a, an impressive storm system for sure. Then we head out to the east, and across right now the Ohio Valley, we've got this little clipper system moving through, but it's passing to our southwest, headed toward the mid-Atlantic. The cloud cover for us is there, of course. It has been most of the day today, and we'll stick around for the rest of the night. Your 24, showing little temperature. Temperature movement through midnight because of the overcast. Most of us will start off close to freezing as we officially kick off the new year. Then temperatures will eventually slide back down below freezing in most spots. I would say we'll begin upper 20s to near 30 degrees tomorrow morning. I do think we're going to have a lot of cloud cover throughout the day. Uh, some of these icons try to indicate some partial clearing, but they also show that for today and we're unsuccessful. So I really do think that the cloud cover is going to hang pretty tough throughout tomorrow with maybe some breaks of sun more likely by the afternoon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Breezes will be light, temperatures seasonably cool, with highs making it back to the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. We should get more clearing tomorrow evening, though. High pressure is building in, and that's going to allow for clear skies and some sunshine finally by Tuesday. So tomorrow we could get lucky, maybe get some sunshine right at the end of the day. Here's hoping. The breezes tomorrow will be light coming in from the west. Tuesday and Wednesday, very little change in that. So breezes remain light throughout the first half of this week, and we have dry conditions. I think cloud cover starts to build back in on Wednesday and we have this little system coming off the uh, southeast coast on Thursday. Now there might be a little bit of moisture that fills in here, possibly a few light rain and snow showers for our area, but we're going to miss the bulk of this storm system. So as we take a look at the 10 day forecast, our high temperatures on Tuesday are back around 40, but as the kiddos head back to school Tuesday morning, it looks like we may start off in the teens. So just be prepared for a colder morning as those skies finally clear. Then through the rest of the week, Wednesday is looking the mildest. Thursday, possibility for a rain or snow shower. Then it's colder and blustery to end the week. And again, we are keeping an eye on next Sunday. Glenn, back to you.